This is Peter Dinklage. This is the average American male, and this is former NBA player Shaquille O'Neal. Humans come in all shapes and sizes, from short and stocky like Danny DeVito, to Bob Sapp who is a legitimate 350 pound man with a six pack. What are the limits of human physiology? How big could you get? Could you be a giant? 24 feet. That is the height of the big friendly giant in Steven Spielberg's new film, The BFG. Remember that scale I showed you at the beginning of this video? Well, here is what the BFG looks like next to those people. You would need to stack six Peter Dinklages on top of one another to become as tall as the BFG. Even though we haven't had any humans as massive as the big friendly giant, that doesn't mean that we don't have giants of our own. Andre René Rosimov was born on May 19, 1946 in Grenoble, France. As a child, he displayed symptoms of gigantism, reaching a height of 6 foot 3 and weighing 240 pounds at the age of 12. At the age of 17, he had grown bored of his farmer's life and decided to try his hand at professional wrestling. He would go on to win his first match into the next several hundred matches. Andre, the giant, was undefeated for 15 years up until he met a good old American from Georgia. At the time of the match, Andre the giant was 7 foot 4 and 520 pounds. Needless to say, he was one giant human being, but he wasn't the biggest human ever. There have been 107 billion human beings born on this earth in all of recorded history. Of these humans, only 19 people, or 0.0000018% have ever reached a height of 8 feet. Statistically speaking, it is more likely a baby born today will throw a perfect game in the Major Leagues of Baseball, a mathematically improbable feat that has only happened 23 times in history, than they are to grow to be 8 feet tall. Sultan Kosin is the tallest living person at 8 feet and 3 inches. He wears a size 28 shoe and has the record for the largest hands in history at 27.5 centimeters. But even he is dwarfed by a young man from Illinois. Robert Wadlow was born during the end of World War I and was a regular sized baby at birth. As he got older, his parents started to notice that he was a little bit bigger than the other kids his age. For example, he reached a height of 4 feet 3 inches when he was 18 months old. He grew to 6 feet tall by the time he was 8, he hit 8 feet tall when he was 15, and he got to 8 feet 11 inches before dying at the young age of 22. A lot of people think that his height and massive body were somehow responsible for his death, but he was actually in fairly good health. What killed Robert Wadlow was actually a blister on his leg that became infected. And because of his early and unexpected death, we will never know how tall he could have become. The scary thing is that the last year of his life, between the ages of 21 and 22, he grew 3 inches. That was his largest growth spurt since puberty. It is quite likely that Robert could have become the only person in history to reach 9 feet in height. Maybe he could have even hit 10 feet or 11 feet tall. A lot of you might be asking yourselves how he was able to have a large growth spurt in his early 20s considering that most people stop growing in height around the age of 18. Gigantism and acromegaly are syndromes that all human giants have. It is characterized by your pituitary gland producing too much growth hormone, which results in uncontrollable growth of your body. The cause of nearly 99% of all cases of gigantism is a tumor called pituitary adenoma. Pretty much a tumor continues to grow larger and larger in your pituitary gland, resulting in excess production and growth hormone. And unless the tumor is treatable, like Sultan Kosin's tumor, it will cause your body to continuously grow uncontrollably until you die. So what if someone did have uncontrollable growth and never got sick or injured? How tall could they get before their body just stops working? The square cube law states that as a shape like a human body grows taller, the volume increases at a much greater rate. So for example, a 1 meter tall cube has a surface area of 6 meters squared and a volume of 1 meter cubed. If we made the height of the cube 10 times bigger, then the surface area would increase by 100 times and the volume would increase by 1000 times. 
So the structure has only 100 times the surface area to support itself, but has 1000 times the weight and volume of the stuff that it needs to support. So the human body has a certain point where it physically wouldn't have enough surface area to support its own weight. Many researchers believe that the maximum height we can reach with our current body type is 15 feet tall. But that's just it, our current body type. It is possible that if we had bones and muscles made out of stronger material, then we would be able to physically support our weight. But there are some other problems like circulation. Our heart is specifically designed to pump blood around an average sized human body, about 5 foot 10 inches. As you get taller, your heart has to work a lot harder to pump blood around to your extremities and keep your blood pressurized. For example, Robert Wadlow was able to walk around and never needed a wheelchair, but before he died, he could not feel anything in his hands and feet due to poor circulation. What this all means is that the taller we get, the tougher it is to live. So I'd like to ask you guys a question. If you could be a giant, would you want to be one? What's your ideal height? Remember to leave a comment if you want to be entered into the monthly giveaway. Subscribe and hit the like button if you really want to, it means a lot to me. And remember to check out my other science videos if you liked this one. So thank you very much for watching everyone. You are all very beautiful people. And I will see you guys next time.